for the same diploma ct 2008 in under the branch computer science and the question paper code is a and this time i selected subject database management system that is dbms this dbms mainly consists of 10 questions in dcet okay in that a question number 133 what does sql stands for we have four options first option is structured question language the second option is strong question language and the third option is structured query language and the fourth option is unstructured query language for question number 133 the third option structured query language is the right answer the sql stands for structured query language and it is the computer language used for storing the data and manipulating the data and also retrieving the data stored in the relational database so for question number 133 the third option structured query language is the right answer move on to question number 134 dba stands for we have four options the first option is data bank access and the second option is database administrator and the third option is data bank administrator and the fourth option is database access for question number 134 the second option that is database administrator is the right answer dba st stands for database administrator is the person who is responsible for maintenance and as well as operation of the database the operation includes installation of the database operation also includes configuration of the database and also up, uh, uh, upgradation of the database and also it includes monitoring of the database all these functions are performed by dba that is database administrator so for question number 134 the second option database administrator is the right answer the question number 136 a view is a we have four options the option number first er diagram the second option is database diagram and the third option is a virtual table and the fourth option is only 192 for question number 136 the third option that is a virtual table is the right answer a view is a virtual table it is also called as the subset of the table and view can be created by using one or more tables okay here we are taking three tables a customer table item table and the order table by using these three tables a view is created this is a view a view is created nothing but a customer name is taken from the customer table okay and a item name is taken from the item table similarly a price is taken from the order table okay so it becomes a view it is a subset of the table okay and whatever the data present inside the view is not physically stored it is in the base table only okay suppose we have a customer id 1 we can call it as 1 and customer name as nagraj okay nagraj and uh, item name we can call it as hash 1 okay item name is where we can call it as uh, item name or uh, whatever you call uh, that is um, chips okay chips is the item name okay and we have order id hash 11 and quantity one packet and its uh, price is 10 rupees okay so that a view is created from customer okay from customer table we are taking customer name that is a nagraj a customer name is nagraj okay a customer name is taken taken from the customer table similarly a item name is chips okay and price is 10 rupees okay this is called as view okay this view is created by using three tables so for question number 136 the third option virtual table is the right answer the question number 140 which of the following gives a logical structure of the database graphically we have four options okay the first option is er diagram the second one is entity diagram and the third one is database design and the fourth option is architectural representation for question number 140 the first option that is er diagram is the right answer 
the er diagram describes the logical structure of the database with the help of diagram there are mainly three elements present in the er diagram they are entity attribute and the relationship okay the entity is represented by a rectangle symbol similarly the attribute is represented by oval shape or we can also call it as ellipse okay ellipse shape similarly a relationship is represented by a diamond symbol okay then what is meant by entity a entity is the real world object that can be anything place person or the object similarly these entities are represented by means of their properties called as attribute okay similarly a relationship a relationship is the association that exists between two or more entities for example we have a student okay this is one entity a student is one entity for this entity we have student name name okay this is one attribute and similarly we have date of birth for the student this is also one attribute okay similarly a phone number okay a phone number this is also one attribute for the student a student here a student is the entity and name date of birth and phone number these are the attributes okay similarly if you consider a course okay this is also one entity for entity we have a attribute called course name we have a course name okay we know that the attributes are represented by oval shape or the elliptical shape similarly for course we have duration of the course okay we have duration and also we have fees fees for the course here fees duration and name are the attributes and course is the entity okay and these entities these two entities are combined by using a relation called as enroll okay here enroll is the a relation it is represented by a diamond shape okay which connects two entities example a student okay a student who enrolls who enrolls who enrolls in some course okay in course hmm? a student is the entity course is the entity these two entities are connected with the help of enroll here enroll is the relation okay this is the relation so for question number 140 the first option er diagram is the right answer the question number 131 the data model which describes how the data is actually stored is we have four options the option number first internal model the second option is external model the third option is logical model and the fourth option is both two and three for question number 131 the option number three that is a logical model is the right option why because a logical model it mainly consists of logically related informations like entities attributes and also relationships among the entities or we uh, we can also call it as datas along with that it has constraints primary key and foreign key so for question number 131 option number 3 a logical model is the right answer move on to question number 139 the complete description of the database which is described in a design phase and changed rarely is called we have four options the option number first that is schema the option number second structure the third option is path of design and the fourth option is data cry for question number 139 the first option schema is the right answer the complete description of the database which is described in a design phase but it it changed rarely is called as schema okay when you consider a table okay when you consider a table in table we have rows and columns okay here we are considering a student as a table so a student is called as the table name for this table student table we have so many rows and columns okay these rows are also called as tuples these are called as tuples or rows similarly the columns the columns are called as 
attributes okay the columns are called as these are called as columns okay the columns are called as attributes attributes or the columns columns the rows are called as tuples or the rows and the columns these columns are called as attributes or the columns and name age subject and marks these are called as these are called as schema okay name age subject marks these are called as schema in a table so for question number 139 the first option schema is the right answer the question number 138 in the dash normal form a composite attribute is converted into individual attribute okay we have four options option number first first and option number second second the third option is third and the fourth option is fourth for question number 138 the first option first is the right answer okay before that what is meant by composite attribute a composite attribute is the attribute that can be further divided into a meaningful attributes is called as the composite attribute for example here a student it is one entity okay for this entity we have attributes okay we have a name this is one attribute similarly dob that is date of birth this is also one attribute okay and this attribute can be further divided into sub attributes meaningful attributes the, so this name this attribute is called as the composite attributes for name we have first name similarly last name okay these are also attributes name is the attribute this attribute is further divided into meaningful attributes so this name is called as the composite attribute composite attribute okay similarly dob this can be further divided into day okay then month and also a year okay a day month and year dob is a attribute this can be further divided into day month and year these are also attributes so this dob is called as composite attribute composite attribute okay a composite attribute is the attribute which can be further divided into meaningful attributes so that attributes are called as the composite attribute but a first name and last name these are called as the atomic attribute these are called as the atomic attribute okay these are called as the atomic attribute similarly day month and year these are called as the same atomic attribute atomic atomic attribute atomic attribute okay day month and year similarly first name and last name are called as the atomic attribute what are atomic attributes the atomic attribute are the attribute which cannot be further divisible here day is not for further divided here month is not further divided here year is not further divided so these are called as the atomic attribute atomic attribute is the attribute which cannot be further divided into some other attributes so these attributes are called as the atomic attribute similarly first name and last name is called as the atomic attribute there cannot be further divided into sub attribute so a uh, first name and la last name is called as the atomic attribute okay i think uh, you knew the concept very well now we consider one table okay 
we will consider one table consider a student table okay we are considering one student table in student table we have roll number okay and then name and then subject okay a uh, a roll number starts from 101 a name is we call akshay okay and uh, he opted subject java and c he opted two subjects okay similarly a second 102 roll number his name is amok amok his name is amok he opted only one one subject that is python okay python similarly uh, another roll number 103 his name is arun okay he opted he is also opted two subjects uh, that is php and uh, another one is c++ okay here uh, akshay opted two subjects okay similarly amog is uh, opted only one subject that is python similarly arun arun is a name student name he opted two subjects but according to first normal rule each column must contain only one atomic value but in this column in subject column we have two values that is java and c similarly uh, here we uh, we are having two atomic values that is php and c++ so this is a, a composite one this is the composite attribute which can be updated into first normal form okay as first normal form according to first normal form each column must contain only one atomic value okay so this table can be updated as this is the a student table okay in student table we have a roll number roll number next name and then what subject okay we already know that roll name and subject are called as the schema hmm? roll number 101 the student name is akshay okay each column must contain only one atomic value so we are writing only a subject java similarly we have to write 101 roll number only the student name is akshay and his his uh, opting subject is c okay this java and c is converted into two rows okay and only one column okay according to first normal form we uh, each column must contain only one atomic value similarly 102 roll number his name amok he is opting only one subject that is python okay each column must contain a uh, only one atomic value similarly 103 his name is arun he is opting php okay and then a uh, roll number 103 his name is also arun and he is opting c++ okay according to first normal form each column must contain only atomic value so this is the updated form so for question number 138 the first option first is the right answer here a composite attribute is converted into individual attributes